Hey, it's Jordan Keneal here with another edition of the Scouting Report. If you've been following this series closely, you've probably got a pretty good idea about some of the players at the top end of this year's draft pool. So why don't we take some time to look at 25 guys who are flying under the radar a little bit and deserve some more attention. Some of these guys might be relatively early picks and some might not be drafted at all, but it's worth taking a look at some of their footage all the same. Jacob Constanti is a small forward, but his agility and goal sense is off the charts. He can twist, turn and crumb better than most players in this draft class. He's pretty strong overhead and on the lead, and he also finishes his chance as well. Kai Windsor has been playing as a midfielder in the NAB League, but he could become a handy half forward at the next level. He's an incredible runner. Just watch him start at half back here before running the length of the field to deliver this lace out pass. He's a great kick on the run, but his set shots need some improvement. Jacob Ryan is a halfback with a massive motor. He's pretty reliable by foot, and he's the type of player who will start with the ball in the back pocket, and all of a sudden you see him with it again on the wing. Ryan has been pretty dependable across the year, and he seems like he could find his feet at almost any level. Blake Drury is another player who could fill a role as a shorter midfielder or half forward. He's had a really consistent carnival for Vic Metro, finding plenty of the footy and showing that he can use the ball well. Matisse Philippou is a damaging midfielder who we've discussed a little bit before, but he could be a player that pushes his name towards the top end of this draft class. His marking overhead is excellent and he hits the scoreboard in creative ways. He's classy, tackles strongly and can play in a few positions. Western Australian ruckman Jackson Broadbent has shown how good he can be at ground level. Take a look at how he threads the needle with his handball. It's one of the best goal assists of the national championships so far. The guy he gave the handball to was Darcy Jones. He's shown he's got plenty of speed and he's been able to hit the scoreboard in a few different ways across Western Australia's first few games. Phoenix Foster has done some excellent things for South Australia as a key forward. His marking has been terrific and his link up play in the first game against the Allies stood out for me. Nick Madden is a ruckman from GWS's academy and he's shown he can take a grab around the ground. He's more physically developed than other rucks at his age, so his strength has been on show during these championships. Fellow Giants Academy player Harry Rouston has shown how tough he can be in the midfield. I've also been really impressed with his work up forward. He's a strong mark and converts his set shots well. It's pretty difficult to find players who can find the footy on the inside, run and carry on the outside, and also be genuine targets up forward. So Rouston ticks plenty of boxes there. Jasper Fletcher has kicked some stunning goals for the Allies, but none as good as this. How about the bounce from 85 metres out? He had his best game against Western Australia, and he could be in the mix for the Lions as a father-son prospect. 177 centimetre small forward Brandon Leary has kicked a heap of goals across the NAB League season, and he's also been pretty solid in the championships too. This goal was absolutely outstanding for Tassie. He's 19 years old, and he probably doesn't have the positional flexibility that other small forwards in this class have, but at some point you just have to consider the weighted numbers that he's putting up. Charlie Clark is another player we've talked about on the scouting report before, but he hasn't had as much of the shine playing with some of the bigger names in the draft. He's lightning quick, can hit the scoreboard, and he's shown he can rack it up as a midfielder. Next up is the player with easily the best name in this draft pool. Archie Lovelock has played as a small forward who can pinch hit through the midfield for South Australia. His overhead marking has been a feature in these championships. We've also seen him hit the scoreboard from set shots and general play. And you just know if he ends up on a list, someone is going to do some sort of Kanye video with him. Seth Campbell has had some nice moments as a forward early in the championships too for the Allies. He's been solid in the air, tackles strongly, and he can find the footy too. Isaac Keeler is starting to get some more love as a player who can take marks in the forward line, and he shows plenty of ability at ground level too as a taller guy. There's some scope for him to chop out in the ruck too at the next level. 
He's connected to the Crows through their next generation academy, but he could be selected by any club within the first 40 picks. Josh Weddle has started to put together a body of work for Vic Metro as a taller defender. His intercepting work stood out against Western Australia, and he's been pretty reliable by foot. Tall defenders are one of the harder commodities to find in this year's draft pool, so he's one to keep an eye on. Braden George had a huge start to this NAB League season as a powerful medium forward. He's shown he can kick a bag on multiple occasions, with his six goals against the Rebels being the biggest highlight. I like how smooth and repeatable his set shot action is too. Cooper Harvey is eligible to be taken by North Melbourne as the son of Boomer. He's had some rough injury luck this year, but this goal was a really nice glimpse into what he can do. Yuyu Ashwin has shown some awesome things as a wingman for Oakley. He's a really handy link-up player and gets to great spots. He's got a heap of skill and kicks some incredible goals. Yu showed some promise against the Calder Cannons earlier this year, with three goals and 34 disposals. Geelong father-son prospect Oscar Riccardi is only 172 centimetres, but he's so nimble and evasive as a small defender. Watching him weave through traffic is a genuine joy. Ollie Hotton is another one of those smaller half forwards that Vic Metro seems to have, and he's boosted these stocks with a strong carnival. He's been a clinical finisher over the last few weeks, and found enough of the ball as a link-up player too. Max Noble is an agile ruckman for Gippsland, and he's shown he's got some real skill at ground level. This goal on the run was a massive highlight. He's also a pretty reasonable set shot when he gets forward. Lewis Hayes is the younger brother of Port Adelaide ruckman Sam Hayes. He's 197 centimetres and he's a key defender who reads the flight of the ball really well. He's reliable by foot and he's averaged over 20 disposals per game for the Eastern Rangers. Lucky Cowan is a taller halfback who loves to intercept and set up play. He reads the flight of the ball really well and he's averaged 28 disposals per game across his seven NAB League starts for Tassie. Alright, I reckon that's plenty to work with, but if there's anyone you think I've missed, make sure you drop them in the comments.